capturing about 40 million points in a single scan. 40 million? 40 million. When you started in policing, could you have imagined something like this? If someone had said five years ago this is what you'd be doing, uh, that you'd have specialists that can uh, record, play, uh, something which I think we probably think is, is really almost like a, a, a game that young people would play today. Uh, but now, uh, you know, with the uh, changes in technology, not only can we do it, but we can record it, provide it to a court, so that it makes it easier for other people to understand. This is being heralded as the virtual difference between gathering evidence and convicting the criminal. Superintendent Paul Glynn heads up the forensic unit in New South Wales, the first state to put 3D scanned evidence before a jury. It's been used uh, certainly at a number of homicides, uh, fatal serious motor vehicle type collisions. Uh, probably those more complicated matters whereby using this type of technology uh, is going to assist, it's going to progress uh, an investigation. This 3D scanner is one of several being rolled out across the country to capture evidence in minute detail just moments after an incident occurs. How accurate are these scans to the actual crime scene? Each point measured in the scan is accurate to within about a millimetre. Wow. A millimetre? Even less. How long does it take to scan a room or a, a car accident scene? A typical single scan will be about 3 minutes 20. Is that all? That's all. Crime scene officer Dominic Ranieri is trained to scan any type of scene where forensic evidence must be recorded. Most recently, the unit was used to record the scene at the inner Sydney suburb of Roselle, where a fatal explosion ripped apart a shop and the apartments above. It can cover hundreds of metres recreating a virtual world in just a few minutes. It shines a laser straight into a reflective mirror. And that reflector spins around, yep. which lets it scan out in both directions. Yep. The unit does a 180 degree swing, mm -hmm. and then it scans the entire 360 degrees in that three and a half minutes. Even in complete darkness, the scanner records bullet holes and trajectories, tire skid marks, even footprints. Once pieced together, it recreates a real world experience from every possible angle. The result, for the first time, investigators and members of a jury can stand inside a crime scene and look around in every direction. Police expect it will lead to more arrests and more convictions. This unit costs $120,000. Smaller handheld models are cheaper and can be used quickly at accident scenes to scan specific objects or evidence. Can you scan when it's cloudy or foggy? We can. Uh, one limitation is rain, makes it difficult. We can scan in the rain, but it does complicate the data a little bit. Otherwise, it doesn't need any kind of natural light. Uh, it works on infrared, so it can see in the dark better than anything else. We don't have any kind of restrictions with the lighting environments. We've had guys turn up to crime scenes in the middle of the night without being able to see the crash, mm -hmm. set the unit up, and when they've looked on the monitor, they've been able to wow. see the detail and the skid marks standing right there on the ground. The overhead reconstruction is crucial, as it allows the viewer to see every piece of evidence in relative space, as it was when police arrived. The other advantage is that uh, you can certainly then look to uh, move around uh, the crime scene so you can view things from different angles. You can view things from, say, potentially up in the air from a different space, uh, which will allow people to get a, a much greater uh, understanding, I guess, of what has actually occurred. Forensic teams training with the scanners marvel at how far crime fighting has evolved, from high-definition photography, then to video, to fingerprint and DNA evidence, now the 3D scanned crime scene. I guess who knows in five years time where we'll be. Wherever that is, it'll likely be a harder place to get away with something.